what's so amazing about this exhibition is that it really takes a deep dive into the period and shows how these struggles people have for social justice and for creation of new societies and for making something new really constantly go on. The 1920s is a period of great international ferment everywhere. Uh, Mauta was a journal that was published in Lima between 1926 and 1930, directed by Jose Carlos Mariati, one of the most prominent socialist thinkers of 20th century Latin America. He really believed in a socially committed art, and he really believed in the possibility of the arts to contribute to a transformation of society. Amal to the magazine was this sort of broad open platform to consider the ideas and discussions that were happening throughout the Americas. Um, it had a broad circulation. I think over 60 cities throughout Peru can be documented as receiving the magazine, as well as 80 cities internationally. If you look through the pages of Amalta, you see things from Europe, things from Mexico, things from Argentina. It's this very eclectic and inclusive mixture of art. Uh, but this was the internet. This was how people connected, was through publications and through writing letters. If you are to ask about what this exhibition was about in you know, one phrase, I would say it's about competing definitions of the term avant-garde in the 1920s in Latin America. There's a diversity of artists in the show that reveal different takes on this idea of the avant-garde. Most people think about avant-garde as being somehow divorced from politics or somehow about formal innovation. For Mariatki, the avant-garde was the marriage of those two. They were pushing for change, innovation. They were pushing for a definition of themselves. They were pushing for new societies and a rupture with those things that were old, old structures of governance, old structures of art creation. And in fact, indigenism was a central aspect of the journal. José Sáenz's painting, for example, which brought indigenous subjects to the visual arts in Peru. Indigenism is the social and cultural vindication of indigenous populations that had been marginalized from Peruvian society. This is one of the big goals of the project, is to have indigenism revindicated and reevaluated and seen in this larger context as an avant-garde movement for Latin America, for Peru. A great many works in the exhibition were originally uh, reproduced in the magazine. I think audiences will in general discover new artists because, in fact, many of the artists in this exhibition were not even known in their own countries. We're showing Peruvian art from the 1920s for the first time probably in the U.S. context. Peru really was an important capital with important art production, intellectual production. So for us it's very gratifying to see that potential to be written back into the history of Latin American art.